Hey everybody, I'm Lance Goyke, and today we're discussing how to choose a duration for your training program. So you've written a couple workouts to do every week, and you want to do them for a number of weeks. Oh, how, how many number of weeks? So previously, last two days, we've talked about eight-week programs, which are really good for beginners, and we talked about four-week programs, which are really good for more advanced trainees. Now, today, we're going to talk about the, the duration of program that I primarily use, and that is six-week program. So six-week is good because it it's kind of like the, the middle ground that covers everyone. So the more advanced people can still sometimes get a little bit more out of the last couple weeks, um, and they don't necessarily need to change at four weeks. Um, but even if they don't, it it works well as just a deload week or an easy week or two. Um, and so, it, you know, it helps just rest the body, get you recovered so that you can, you know, kick butt on the next program. Uh, and then for beginners, it's, you know, it's not as short as four weeks. It's maybe not eight weeks, but I like six week programs because most of my beginners are very inconsistent when they come to the gym. So they don't necessarily make it into the gym every day that they're supposed to or even every week that they're supposed to. And therefore, your six week program becomes an eight week program when you start to miss workouts. And I'm OK with that. I think you should stick with that so you can continue to practice it. So. You know, I don't want to talk too much about this. We talked about the, the benefits of longer programs in the eight week video. We talked about the benefits of shorter programs in the four week video. The six week programs are just like a really good balance between those two.